What's up, everybody? It's Big Roth TV, and I'm back with another video, all right? Now, before we get into this one, I wanted to show you this TV, all right? Now, this TV right here is the Vizio E470VL, all right? Now, this TV came out in... 2010 april of 2010 we me and my wife we bought this tv i want to say close to a year later we bought this tv all right so we've had this tv for about 13 years now maybe close to 14 we might have bought it at the end of 13 but we definitely didn't buy it when it originally came out. We had just moved to Colorado at the time. And once we got settled in, we went and bought a new TV. And this was that TV. All right. So 47 inches. All right. Here's the remote that came with it. All right. You can see the Vizio. All right. And I wanted to show this TV because whenever you research Vizio, you'll see that it gets a bad rap. The brand gets a, a bad rap. And people always say that Vizio TVs don't last and they're going to break down and people had to return them and all that. But look, look at this TV. We got the Roku player right here connected to the TV. But look at it. It's still going. It works perfectly fine. All right, let me grab the Roku remote. So... Here's the, the Roku remote, and I hope I'm still in shot here, but here's the, the Roku remote for the TV, all right, or for this little box that we have here. So back then, when we got this TV, there wasn't a whole bunch of, like, streaming apps connected to the TV, so, you know, we were still using DVD player and everything back then, so, you know, maybe Netflix is, is on the, the DVD player and stuff, but nothing major. So we had this Roku player. This is just the one in our, our living room. But we also have three other Vizios in this house. We have two of the Vizio OLED TVs and one in the living room, 55-inch Vizio OLED in the living room and another 55-inch, the exact same Vizio 55-inch OLED in my man cave, all right? And then in my daughter's room, my youngest daughter's room, we have a 32-inch Vizio that's just about as old as this one. It might be older. Actually, I think that 32-inch is actually older. I think I got that one in 2009. So, yeah, we've been rocking with Vizio for a while, and they last. They really last. I don't, I don't understand when people say that that Vizios don't last, but look, check it out. Now this is, this is 13 years old right here. 14, actually, it came out 2010. This is, this is, this is old right here. And everything works perfectly fine. Now, I will say that there is one issue. I haven't quite seen it, but my wife has, okay? So my wife says, so here it is, look, YouTube, I got the volume down, but, Everything works. My wife says occasionally the volume drops. And uh, when it does drop, she says she has to turn the TV off and turn it back on. And then the volume resets itself. But after 14 years, that's the only issue with this TV. The picture quality is still fine. We use it all the time to be able to watch TV in our room or whatever the case may be. This used to be my gaming TV and my man cave, but you know, it's become the bedroom TV now until today. All right. But this, this TV, we're, re we're retiring it now because we're upgrading here, but man, this TV really held it down for us, man. I, I, I really don't understand the, the hatred for Vizio, just off of seeing this TV and how long this one, and not only this one, but the, the TV in my daughter's bedroom has lasted. And just for reference, here is the 32 inch Vizio that I was talking about. I think I actually got this one in 2008. So as you can see, boom, 
Still cuts on. Sorry, it's baby dolls in here sleeping. <laughs> My youngest is wrong. All right, so boom. See a little backlight issue there, but still on. Great for a kids' room. You know what I mean? She watches, you know, some anime in here. But works perfectly fine. No speaker issues here. All right. And this is that 32 inch. This is a 32 inch Vizio. All right. Still holding on from 2008. I said nine earlier, but 2008. Here is the new TV that is going to be replacing the previous one I just showed you. This is the Vizio Quantum Pro 75 inch. All right. Here's some of the features. It's a QLED. It's good for gaming, free sync. You got a bunch of apps and stuff on here. Fastest Wi-Fi for 4K TVs. Wi-Fi 6E, okay, up to 30% faster than standard Wi-Fi. You can pair some headphones to this TV with Bluetooth, and then you can auto update. All right, new apps, content, and enhancements through Wi-Fi. New features automatically. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to unboxing this one. Here is the feet. Here's one. Here's the other one. Hopefully you all can see that. My lovely assistant, my wife. All right, we'll put that to the side. Here is, oh, that is huge. Here is the TV, all right, 75 inches. That is a big TV right there. <laughs> I gotta get on the bed so I can try to get the correct angle. But there we are there, all right. English. All right, your voice remote is now paired. Connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, let me do that. All right, so now we are making some updates. I got my Wi-Fi connected to the TV. This TV is huge, man. 
75 inches covers up most of the wall here but it looks great it looks great I think the colors are popping it's probably some settings that I could change to even to make it look even better but just out the box looks great to me entertainment experience by customizing your bathroom and saving your this is the setup the video sit back and watch us transform built-in streaming now we're ready to go now these are the apps that we can add so the usual suspects Netflix, YouTube, Apple TV, Prime Video, Disney Plus. We're probably going to get most of those ones that's on the top row. And then Peacock, YouTube TV, Paramount. Okay, so we got the TV all the way set up. Everything is logged in. And here we are. Runs pretty smooth, as you can see. As I'm, I'm clicking the button, it's reacting instantly. There's no lag. Everything is there. This is the Disney Plus app. Oh, Ric Flair is on there. Okay. All right. Then we're gonna go to the home screen. Instantly went to the home screen. And then swipe over and check out some. Ooh, we need to watch this. Um, check out whatever you got there on the home screen. No lag. Go to the menus. Everything is working as it's supposed to. All right. So, so far, so good. Let's see. Let's load up uh, YouTube. Let's see what YouTube's got. Opens right up. All right. Well, I was looking at a, a review on this TV. But here's that. Everything works pretty good. Oh, a Princess Peach game, huh? I have to check that out. So, yeah. This is our new TV. I think the quality of the TV looks great. It's a really big TV. But I think the quality and the clarity of everything looks really good. The sound is good. That's another thing that I've noticed. Let's go back into that. Open this up. The sound is pretty good without having the sound bar. So I think that's pretty good as well. Something I would recommend. All right, look at the, the clarity of the, the video. Looks good, sounds good. Go back out, and we're back at the home screen. All right, so just want to do a quick one, show you how it works, show you how it looks. I think, I think we're going to be very happy with this TV. I think it's pretty clear. I'm not seeing anything wrong. We are a Vizio family as is. We love it. So, sure, we're going to enjoy this one just like we've enjoyed all the others. But that's going to do it for now. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate it. More content is on the way. And I'll holler at you all in the next video. Let me know if you want to see more on this 75 inch Vizio Quantum Pro, all right? 2023 release.